What's up beautiful people? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple DIY trellis all out of reused and recyclable wood, okay? So let's get to it, y'all. What's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Yes indeed beautiful people, we are back back and we are doing yet another step in making a nice profitable raised bed okay ladies and gentlemen my name is ricky jones jr and i am here to help you with any pallet bill or gardening which i've been doing a lot of gardening so if you're into gardening ask myself as you see it is in the front yard go ahead and subscribe i appreciate it smash that thumbs up button and uh leave me a comment where you're from where you live what city you're in because i love to you know know where everybody's watching from but nonetheless, to get this project done, all you need are your uh, screwdrivers, okay? I do have the automatic scenarios. You will need a nail gun, and you will need some screws, okay, to put it all together as far as the wood is concerned, and some chicken wire. So if you're thinking like, oh man, I don't have some of those things, well, don't worry. I'll put links below in the description. But nonetheless, let's get to the construction of it so that you too can see what you can do when you give this a try, okay? Let's get to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so with the two by fours on the ground, I just wanted to make sure that the width of the opening is the same width as the chicken wire, okay? That's the only measurement necessary, and even the height. You do need to do know the measuring of the height as far as your two by fours, if it's gonna be anywhere that's contrapped or concealed, like my situation. But nonetheless, with the screws on the top, um, we just then screwing in the middle bracket piece that's gonna help support it all. And then let your frame, ladies and gentlemen, the frame is just as simple as that. See y'all, so the framing part is fairly easy overall. So once you have your nice H looking situation, or an A, we can call it an A. Right, so now we're gonna go ahead and apply the chicken wire with the whole staple situation, okay? So using that, I've been good to go with that in the garden, things like that. So feel free to go for it that way because it'll make life easier. And then what I probably would do is at the bottom of the whole situation and the contrapment is put that last piece of pellet down just to keep from like scraping my hands and even scraping the plants when they're crawling up the whole trellis situation because things get scratchy at the bottom of chicken wire. So let's go ahead and get that applied, y'all, before we put it in the garden, okay? Yeah. All right, so with the chicken wire, please be sure to be as safe as possible. Uh, the top piece is already like, they scraped my, my knuckles and little cuts, but nothing too serious. But nonetheless, hey, I'm here with it. I'm here for it. It needs to get done so just want to share that tip with you all and so with the scalpel gun just trying to put in you know three or four along you know the top and then probably the same along the middle and then of course making sure your sides are supported as much as you want it to be um, there's no rhyme reason or you know rule to doing it it's just making sure that it's aesthetically pleasing as you so desire um, a little give I believe would be good um, just in case you need to get anything or pull anything but then from here I just had to cut the bottom and I wanted to show you all which part to cut because you don't want to mess up your scissors and so you will see me cutting the thin pieces not the thick circular pieces and you'll be good to go and then we're adding a little safety piece at the bottom keep it all hands clean and then we're good to go all right ladies and gentlemen and just like that if you get back in the shade we have our completed trellis okay as you can see boom 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 all the way down to the bottom now this is the front part this is the part that will be facing within the raised bed so that the plants can grow up from here which i think i'm gonna do some cucumbers because i did a whole trellis situation with these cucumbers over here and they are not growing so i'm gonna just do it in the raised bed and see which one does it faster but nonetheless like i said i'm gonna add the top part which turned out very nice and handy and which will keep the uh, prickly parts from poking up now i did that because on my other one i have the hoop house situation let me just show you what i'm talking about all right so here we have it on the first one that i did and as you can see like it's all prickling up which i'ma just add a 
pallet board now now that I know what to do to the top and what the problems that it was giving me is that it was getting caught within the whole hoop house situation itself and ripping and tearing and things like that and so to alleviate their problem I'm gonna just go ahead and put a pallet board on top as I did this one but nonetheless let me go ahead and apply the new one to its new home new resting place which will be right here let's go yeah all right people we are taking the trellis out and then what i wanted to do first is make an indention into the soil so i knew where to dig out the area so that the trellis can go all the way down to the floor okay that's the main idea because you do want it to be nice and anchored as much as possible and so with that so putting in the soil or backfilling the soil so that it's there and then excuse y'all I'm, I'm saying excuse me for the whole boxes presentation sorry then from there taking two screws that's all i needed to do top and bottom on both sides nice and secure ready to go and we both happy and just like that ladies and gentlemen we have it all done the trellis is in its new home nicely put right so this one is here i have my other one right here and so now I'm able to do two areas of vertical gardening, okay? Let me say this, it's in a specific place for a specific reason, it's on the north side of the raised bed because you want to have your vining plants, your taller plants and things like that on the north side of your raised bed so that as the other things grow, it won't block out the sun or anything like that in the growth, which will stunt or prohibit the other vegetables, fruit or anything that you're growing in your garden to grow. So it's on the north side, nicely put on the end. And so these raised beds on the far side will be for my, you know, cucumbers, pole beans, um, peas, all those good things that vines and grow. So with that being said, I hope in seeing this, you know too that you can do it too. And add this to your repertoire within your raised bed garden, okay? All right, so make sure y'all tune back in next time because of the next video, I'm gonna take it up a whole nother level, okay? I'm gonna do something that I've never done before, always wanted to do, but now I have the courage, knowledge, and insight to do so. So I wanna bring you along a journey. Make sure you tune back in. Love you, appreciate you. Subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you know when that video drops, okay? Okay? All right, all right. Love you. Next time, peace.